Uh, all right, let's get this set up real quick, guys. One second. Do 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 do. Ba boom, ba boom, ba da boom. Oh, here we are. Da da da. All right, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here another Sunday fun day, the last Sunday fun day of late night. Uh, House of Targaryen is finally done. House of Dragon is finally done. Uh, season finale tonight. Um, big, 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 big things that happen tonight, but uh, we won't spoil anything. Um, but we'll wait probably until tomorrow and we'll talk about some discussions. Uh, so Endor is over. But uh, we're not going to talk the regular shows. If you want to see that show, guys, that will be at 1 p.m. Um, let me share this, guys, for a second. 1 p.m., guys. Do -do Ninja Turtles, Dave. Um, that'll be at 1 p.m. that we do the show. But uh, if you want to talk about shows, guys, we are in the anime. Uh, I have literally... Just got off uh, the TV. That's why I'm a minute late, and I was watching Chainsaw Man, which is the second episode out, guys. Um, amazing, amazing show, guys. Go check out Chainsaw Man. It's on the second episode. I believe it's on Hulu and Crunchyroll. I don't think it's on Netflix, but it was rated number one manga uh, in Japan for a while, and it finally came out. So, really excited. The first episode is awesome, and the second episode is really, really cool. Uh, go check that out, guys. Also, My Hero is back in, so if you guys are caught up on the My Hero, make sure you go check that out. Uh, it gets right into uh, amazing events, so there's no uh, filler episodes so far, so it's really, really awesome. Also, Mob, uh, Mob Psycho 100, if you guys caught up on that, Mob Psycho 100 is out. I do believe that's on its third episode, and we will talk about that soon also. Uh, just trying to get it. But tonight, guys, uh, we are here to open some more stuff. I decided to give us a break on those Kamigawa and those Dominaria United Collector boxes. And I found, well, the old Mystery Power Box. Now, this isn't an old one. These are one of the newer ones, guys. Uh, but it has a chance to win a Legends Pack. Uh, 1 of 10. But you know how these are. They're probably not going to get anything out of here. But there's always a chance. We did a lot of the Pokemon ones, and honestly, we definitely pulled some vintage packs and some old retro packs from them. So it is possible, and also I've seen uh, many people open these and actually get a uh, a vintage pack. But uh, we haven't opened any of the Magic ones, guys. So you're going to get four set, to bo set boosters, and you're going to get a collector boosters, two promo cards, and a chance. And also we got that Build-A-Battle uh, Lost Origins. We're still looking for that uh, Ash's Pikachu or Red's Pikachu or either that uh, any of those alternate arts. All right. Also, um, any of those really, really cool, cool alternate arts. But the, we're looking for those Pikachus ones. So tonight, guys, uh, we will be uh, opening both of these and uh, we'll be drawing on Bob, hopefully. Uh, the time, guys, obviously we're doing 11 p.m., because uh, of House of Dragon, but now since House of Dragon's over, we will be returning back to 9 p.m. So we'll be able to get more people watching and back onto the regular scene. I know it is a little bit later, uh, but honestly, I do like House of Dragon, so we had to watch that and get that over with. Uh, we will be playing Overwatch 2. If you guys have been playing Overwatch 2, it's really not that bad. A lot of people have been complaining about it. Obviously, the drop date, when it dropped, it was garbage, and a lot of people were... Uh, getting logged out, they couldn't log in, the characters were locked, my characters were actually locked, my heroes were locked, but now everything's pretty good, uh, the placements are not that bad, and honestly the gameplay is good, the Junkerstein is cut, Junkerstein event is coming in two days, so we'll do a review on that, and it's supposedly a new event, so I'll be doing that, um, uh, Overwatch, I mean Overwatch, uh, World of Warcraft, the new Dragonflight is coming out this week on Tuesday, the pre, not, not, uh, not, the, not, the, not the actual drop. The pre-patch or the pre-release patch will be coming out. So you'll be doing a lot of new cool things like that. And we'll be doing a lot of guild things. A lot of the old members from the guild for Black Moon Clan will be getting together. That should be very, very interesting. Uh, other than that, guys, we went to Ian uh, e. N. Hoik uh, Reserves. Uh, and um, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, Epic Credits, uh, Dave. And or End Credits song was, uh, yeah, it was actually it was really good. And actually, uh, I was actually very happy with Endor. Uh, a lot of people uh, somewhat didn't like it, but I thought it was actually a very good, uh, a very good show. But we'll get into this, guys. We digress. 
Uh, this is what we're here for. Uh, as you know, Bob is our channel mascot. He is that lovely shining dumpling. If we pull the pull cards that we call out, um, we get to draw them, Bob. Uh, today, if we pull a a vintage uh, chase pack, uh, we will draw on Bob. And if we pull any of the red Pikachu's, alternate arts out of here, or the gold, uh, gold one of the gold cards, the gold and black cards, uh, we will uh, draw on Bob. So uh, let's get this started. We'll go with uh, let's go with the Pokemon first. Let's go with the Pokemon first. Uh, oh, let me pull out. So guys, I still haven't come up with a name. Oh, Shiza. I still haven't come up with a name for my knife. Anybody have any good ideas for my knife? Every channel has, like, they're using battle axes. They're using, like, like, uh, like, bastard swords and claymores. I got one of these babies. And let me just tell you. Uh, my buddy, my sushi chef at my restaurant sharpened this. And this thing, this thing's quite nice. So, uh, let's, uh, like, look at that, like, butter. keep smacking that and I want to turn it down I'm getting glare in my here we go sweet yes. alright so guys well, same thing we've been doing this for three weeks now uh, nothing super super special about this you're going to get the Finian uh, which we already have I think I do believe we have all three I think we might be missing one but I think I have all three Finian pre-release. We didn't even go through that. And four packs of this lovely Lost Origin. Uh, now, I was actually surprised at the card list. We saw that we opened that ETB. If you want to go back and watch, look at the ETB that we opened. Had that card list in there. And actually, it has a lot of cards that... Uh, and a lot of alternate arts that are pretty nice. I'm trying to put this in so I don't cut myself. But we're going to get four packs here. Um, I would like to make move this light so I can get some light up in this biatch. Ah, so much better. Right, Bob? Thank you. Alright, guys. So, we're going to get four packs here. Uh, we've, we've, we've done this already. We know, uh, we know what the, what's in here, really. Uh, we haven't really pulled anything good. The first, uh, one we opened, we actually pulled, uh, the gold Garatina, which is really, really cool. Um, last opening that we did last week, I did pull the Lady... And the boss's orders, which is really, really cool. Oh, that's a nice Pikachu. Um, so, hopefully today, we were looking for that uh, red Pikachu. There is a V and a V Max. Uh, and they're quite sought after, I'll be totally honest with you. Uh, the art on them are really cool. And I just want it for my own personal collection. I would love if this would focus. i got Blur City up in here. What's up, Blur City? Right, here we go. Alright, lovely cold card. Like I said, all the cold cards go to you kids. All you lovely people out there that sit here and watch the video after I get off. I Like I said, we are starting back at regular time. So uh, we'll be able to actually have more of our regular viewers. I understand it's been, what, how, how many episodes of Game of Thrones? Ten? So ten weeks. Thank you for dealing with it. Can we get this to focus today? Um, let's get this going. Riley, uh, like I said, I don't know if you guys are playing the new Pokemon that's going to be coming out. Uh, I have not. I, I think I'm gonna play it, but I'm so I'm so far behind. I really do like that Pikachu. Um, so far behind. Ooh, Phantom. Uh, that I can't keep up with the There's the new region now, the Hasoin, Hasoin, Hasoin region, and uh, you know what I mean. They have different. Ooh, look at that bug. All right, there is a alternate art parasite or uh, character gallery. The, the, the trainer gallery. I do apologize, Parasite. And honestly, these are only worth a couple bucks, but like, I'm filling my binder with these, and they look amazing. I don't know that. Look how shiny it is. Now, honestly, Magic the Gathering is getting up on the Pokemon, um, the Pokemon craze, and how they're doing their cards. Uh, if you collected any of the Unified or Ufinity, they they have this, the Moon pattern or the traditional Pokemon Moon pattern Hollow. They're doing it in the cards, and they're doing a lot of these more full art borderless and a shift tree. Um, so it kind of looks, I mean, you know, I mean, they're they're getting the influence in, but they're going for the money grab now. Uh, we will have a discussion on the MTG 30th anniversary uh, since me and Big D got into it last week, and uh, unfortunately, Big D was wrong, like I said, like always. So, um, but 
We'll talk about that. We are not going to be buying any of that, guys. We will not be doing it. It doesn't support any of the local LCS. doesn't support any of us. Uh, I'm not spending a grand. And also, they're, they're, they're proxies. So, that's we're not, we're not doing that. But, uh, we will probably watch a video with some people and do some reviews. And just watch some people open it. Because, honestly, uh, the product uh, itself is pretty cool. But the same time as I'm not paying a grand for a chance to get at a proxy. It's not cool. All right, lost vacuum, which I don't really know what that means. <laughs> I just don't know what that means. Cause Casacoon, which is kind of cool. Uh, a foam, which is kind of cool. Billabug is that uh, those cool um, yarn yarn art. That's kind of sick. Finn, Spinnerack, Paris, NK, a uh, binnacle. And a spirit tomb. Nothing. Garbage. All right. Nothing in pack two. Can we get something out of here? I really need to get one of these uh, Pikachu's, guys. Ugh, nothing here. By the way, guys, if you're just joining the chat, welcome. It is yours truly once again. We will be going back to 9 p.m., guys. So this is the last week. I had to watch that last episode of House of Dragon. Yes, I am selfish. But you know what? You got ten weeks of... Not seeing me at 9 p.m. So, uh, I'll be happy about that. Box of Disaster. Hold on. Box of Disaster? Box of Disaster? Box of Disaster. Oh, look at that. Come on, focus here. Box of Disaster. Can I'm, I'm saying Box of Disaster over and over again, but it won't focus for me. It's a Box of Disaster because I can't focus. That's fine. All right. Cedra, outish. Hosowin, uh, Hosowin, Ralith, like we were talking about before. A C dot in the grass. That's kind of cool. Uh, Lickitung, Machop, Seal, and a Malamar. Garbage, guys. All right, can we can we save it, guys? Can we get something out of there? All we're getting is a Parasite Trainer. Right? <coughs> Definitely not worth it. Come on, Black Code Card. Ugh. All right, this is probably going to be a dead pre-release box. Not being a, it's not, not or not pre-release box. A uh, build a battle. Kind of upset about that. Let's, let's maybe we can pull something out. You know, Polyworld, Licky Licky, or Rakanath. What is this a uh, lost focus today? Bob, here, hold on. Bob, get out of the focus. Maybe it's Bob. There's too many things to focus on. Bob, Slugma. Stop focusing on the. Stop focusing on the Eevee. Clefairy, Rosalina. Inke, Porygon, nothing, and a Hoopa. Wow. What a garbage box. All right, guys. Pokemon did not help us today. That was the first of one of many dead boxes here, which kind of stinks. Only the Parasect has come alive today. So it's all onto the box, guys. Guys, uh, we are here to spend money so you do not have to. Uh, this goes for, I believe, $45? Which is quite expensive, but if you put it in retrospect, guys, you're getting four set boosters, which are usually around seven bucks a piece or five. And then you're going to get a collector booster, depending on what we get. Two promo cards, and also you get a chance at getting a Legends or a an old vintage pack. So let's, uh. Oh man, this thing is juiced in. Okay, cool. Alright, all right, let's slowly pull these things out. Alright. Obviously, I don't think we got anything decent here. So let's uh, put those aside, put those aside. Uh, so we didn't really get anything major here. Oh, so we got Modern Horizons too. Okay. That's kinda, I haven't opened any of that, to be totally honest with you. Now, a new Capenna Collector Booster and two Midnight Set Boosters. So, okay. Our, our curled promos, we have a Cleaving Reaper. Uh, fly, fly, and travel, 5-3, nothing amazing. And a Valkyrie Harbringer. At the beginning of your end step, if you gained four or more life, created four. Oh, that's okay. Nothing major here. Alright, guys. Um, nothing too exciting here. Uh, now, I haven't... Wow, these are... These are... Wow, okay. These are really sealed. Um, I haven't opened any Modern Horizons yet. Let's actually do all this stuff so I don't have to sit here and... Cut everything open like an asshole. All right, give me one second, boys and girls. I'll rip these all open. 
do I suggest buying any of these mystery power boxes? No. Will, you, will I spend my money on it for you? Yes. So four packs and a collector booster. And two promos. There is a chance we still can pull something decent out of Modern Horizons 2 and the new Capenna. The Midnight Hunt, uh, I do not know much about. So let's, uh, let's start with that. Ooh. Now there is a chance you can pull something from the list, which it looks like we did pull something from the list. Uh, the list is a reserved list of cards that are from many sets in the past that you can get on the back slot. So there is a chance we pull something decent here. If I can get it in focus. I don't know why like we so like off-putting today. Like with the, with the camera. Reach. I'm going to use my phone next time I think guys. Just because. Alright, let's go. What is this, guys? We're getting, like, a lot of weird... Right, let's get all this stuff out of the way. A lot of weird focus today. I'm going to focus here. That would be really amazing. I don't want to be that far away. Mm. Really, really weird. Screw cameras, guys. What are we getting here? I'm going to focus it up top. We're getting nothing here. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Castro Commando. That was a that was a that was a struggle. Sun Gold Bar Barrage. Silver Bolt. Nothing really is made. Phantom Carriage. Uh, this is based off of wolves, uh, werewolves, and vampires, guys. Uh, Root Coil Creeper. In common. A Winter Thorn Blessing. Oh, Mystic Skull. I want to mana transform Mystic Skull to a 5 6. Lands you control have. Oh, that's kind of cool. Lands you control add and mana of any, any uh, color. That's kind of interesting, actually. We'll put that aside. Beloved Beggar, which I don't know how beloved you can be if you're a beggar. Okay, who is that's kind of cool. Kasek Naturalist. Whenever it attacks, add a mountain or forest until they turn you don't lose them. Oh, day man. What's the back? Lord of the Un Olven Walt. All the werewolves and wolves you get plus one, plus one. Maybe I'll make a wolf deck. That's kind of cool. Light of the Night is your first rare. Just a red damage one. Light of your target. X damage. Plus one instead. Nothing too bad. With a flashback. Nothing interesting. And we get Ambitious Peasant or Farmhand. Oh, I'm sorry. Peasant. I said Farmhand. He is a human peasant though. And okay. That is a flipper card. Nothing major there. And I think I was wrong. That is not a list card. That is just a blank one. For a day and night, which actually I need a couple of these. Look at my camera trying to struggle here. Um, nothing major in that pack. Nothing decent. Alright. On to the next one. Maybe we can pull some distance. Here's another cool little... I do really like these art cards. Uh, Candle Grove Witch. I really do like those. Uh, I do like... Uh, I'm going to make a, um, like a case with all the different cool lands on them. I'm actually talking to uh, Dave from Flight 2 to get a bunch of cool lands and make a showcase out of it. It's going to be really, really cool. Alright, let's continue here. Ardent Elementalist. Electric Revelation. Otherworldly Gaze. Jack O'Lantern. Halloween's coming up, and I hope all y'all ready for Halloween. Jack O'Lantern Graveyard. Nothing really cool. Infernal Graphs. Alright, here we go. Uncommons. Dreadhound. A Bird... An admir admirer? What the hell? And a wing shredder. What the hell? Okay. Morning patrol and it flips. Alright, visions of dominance. Oh, okay. Put a 1 1 counter on target creature, then double the number of counters on it. Okay, I guess that's going on my deck. Flashback. This spell, oh, this spell costs X less. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, that's going on my deck. That's a really cool card. Oh, okay. Vanquish of the Horde. Sorcery. This spell costs one less for each 
One less for each creature on the battle. Destroy all creatures. Interesting. Interesting. Wonder if that's anything good. And unruly mob. Whenever another creature you control dies, put a one one counter on unruly mob. And totally lost. Let us help you go. That's cool. And the zombie token. Nothing interesting out of those sort, but that was kind of cool. Something I actually can use in my deck. Someone's dying. All right, Modern Horizon 2. Uh, there's some cool squirrels in here. I do believe there is a bunch of cool list cards you can pull in this. And also, there is... I forgot what the major pull in this um, this set was. Uh, Lucid Dreams. I was actually just watching some openings on it. Alright. Children, let's continue here. Of course, once I move, it gets out of focus. Where? Where? Well, well, all right. There we go. Tavern uh, Scoundrel. Ash Bound Slasher. It's a cat. Rust Veil Bridge. Oh, you can get uh, Pain Lands in here. Or uh, Fetch Lands in here, I believe. Foundry Helix. That's what I was looking at. Healer's Flock. Not bad. Vectus Gloves. Land Walk. That's interesting. Eth Sworn Sphinx. Mm. Ooh! <laughs> okay, so I gotta check the price of this before we start going somewhere. Uh, Marsh Flats. Uh, this is Modern Horizons 2 price. So that's not too bad. The, these are going for about 16 bucks. So the fetch land, are these are uh, the fetch lands, guys. They come in all different types. Uh, you pay one life, you sacrifice, and you can search your deck for a plains or a swamp. Hey, I'll take it. That's not bad. That's one great hit here. A Mishra's Factory. Mm, don't know what that. Anything? Do I mean, here's a card from the list. Return two creatures from their owner's hand. Wi Wizard cycling. Interesting. Step through the door. And a nested scrambler. Uh, nothing too major. Oh, okay, and another card from the list. There, there's a card from the list. Uh, maximum hand size spell. I actually used to have this old card, and the best part about it, it, it costs zero to play. So, okay, that was a good pack. That was a really good pack. I'm happy with that one. Modern Horizons. Let's go get the second pack. All right. All right, at least we got something decent here. That was kind of cool. Uh, oh, what is that? Look at that dude. Uh, that is Prismatic Ending. I don't know what that means either. Oh, okay. Foil Planes. There we go. Fellhound, or Floodhound. Burden, Burden and uh, Aerialist. A Wave Sifter. This is this a fish? It's just a fish. A Tangle Bridge Pool, which is interesting. You know what's really crazy about that? That's a land that's indestructible. I bet you that's worth something. It's a indestructible land. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm going to put that on the side. Oh, so shiny! Uh, when the so shiny enters the play, controller, if the controller, if you control a token, tap enchanted creature, then square two. Enchanted creature doesn't untap. Oh, that's interesting. So it just basically distracts them with a scry or two. That's kind of interesting. Inter interesting. Interesting. Skyblade Boon. Plus one, plus one, and has flying. Hmm. In return, boom, to his owner's hand. Interesting. Raving Visionary. Okay. Okay, what is that? Silphus, Harvester at Hand. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you gain one life and draw a card. That has to be decent for two. For a one, two. Oh, here's a mythic. <laughs> I bought one of these for my deck, so I actually have this in my deck already. I don't need this, but uh, there's another. There's our mythic. That's a nice pull. Imperial Recruiter. It really is an OP card for three guys. Uh, it enters into play. You search your library for a creature card with two or less, uh, and put it into your hand. So it's a very OP card. It is a playable card. I think it's like seven bucks or six bucks or something. Nothing major, but that is a pull. All right, here we go. Ornithopter of Paradise. Uh, I do believe that's worth something too. It's a flying. Artifact creature, and you get to add one mana of any cost. 
that's not bad either. A Storm God's Oracle, nothing too major, and a Beast Token. Alright, that wasn't too bad either. Mm, I'll be totally honest with you. And on to the big shebang. These are cluster boosters, guys. Uh, I do believe these are pretty cheaper. There was a sale on for these uh, a little while back at Target. Uh, I did not pick any of them up. Uh, we will be collecting some of the new Brotherhood that's coming out soon, guys. Uh, that is the Transformers one, so they have it's like a retro uh, set, and they, some of the cards are basically Autobots and Decepticons. Uh, so we'll be opening some of those, too. Uh, let's get this going. This will be the last pack of the night. Uh, still nothing for Bob. Uh, nothing for Bob today. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, Skybridge Towers. Obscura, Obscura, Obscura Initiate. Obscura. Jesus Christ. Big Score. Knockout Blow. Elegant Entourage. Oh, that's a cool forest. Look at that. Uh, the new Capenna set was based off of, like, mages and stuff like that in a city. So that's really cool. Skybridge Tower. That's kind of cool, too. Sparrows, Adjusticators, Cat Citizens, Cat People. Nimble Larsenist. Ledge Shredder. Ledger Shredder. So this is actually worth a lot. Uh, this is worth about 20 bucks. I have the borderless extended version of this, so and that one's about thirty. So this card is very powerful. For two, you get a flying one three, and then whenever your player casts their second spell each turn, you get uh, the ledger shredder gets to convenes. That means draw a card, then discard a card, and then if you discarded a non land card, put a one one counter on the creature. It's a very very overpowered card. So uh, that is worth a good amount of money, and that is an awesome card to pull. Skyboon Evangelist, which is, I do not know what that is either. That is a flying, whatever enters battlefield, support six. What does that mean? Whenever a creature with a counter on it attacks, one of your opponents, one of your opponents, that creature gains flying until end of turn. What's support six? I'm going to have to look that up, kids. MTG support cards yeah what is what is uh did anybody know there in support Support means put one one counter on on each up to each of n number of other characters what so that means if it has a support six i can put one one counters on each up to target creature uh, that's very overpowered, and I didn't know that existed either. So, we'll look up the price of these later, guys, and we'll put them up onto the videos later, but that seems, uh, pretty spicy. And, Rabble R Rousing. Hideaway 5, when a creature attacks with one or more creatures, create that many 1-1 one, one and green token, 1-1 one, one green and white citizen tokens. Then if you control 10 or more cards, you may play an exile card without paying its mana cost. That's overpowered also. And that's an enchantment. Void Ren. This spell can't be countered. Destroy target non-land permanent. That is probably good also. And... <clears throat> we get double ledger. I have all three versions now. Okay, uh, I guess I'm okay with that, and a just a treasure token, a random treasure token. But that's crazy. Um, let's look that up while we're here, guys. Uh, I ha I'm I'm kind of dying to know. Uh, Ledger Shredder. All right, so the regular one is going for about eighteen. The the borderless which I have in the in the in the the back or in my um, binder is going for twenty one and this one's going for oh, thirty so okay basically made our money back I'm happy about that we will look up the prices for other ones March flats I mean so that's that alone this alone uh, we did pretty well. 
That's a Marsh Flats, two ledgers. Uh, that's a that's a decent amount, and we found some cards and some vintage cards and some cards for the list. So uh, I am I'm 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 happy with that. Uh, we will look up the actually let's, let's look up this. I got I gotta look up this because this has to be something else too. Let's take a second to look something up. I need to look up this one and I need to look up that land, guys. But that ain't bad, guys. That's that's pretty good here. Get that get that lovely fetch land. But where is that one land? Indestructible. Alright, let's look. I gotta look up that, guys. One second. Before we go anywhere. The. Tangle. Whoops. Only about a dollar, but unfortunately, I thought that would be a little bit more. And then we'll look up the the sky boom. Evangelist. And that's not going. That's going about for three dollars. So nothing too major. It was mostly the stuff with the fetch lands and then the ledges, guys. So not bad at all, guys. Uh, we will be continuing next week at a regular time. Uh, unfortunately, Pokemon did not come through for us today, but uh, those four on itself helped us out. Uh, welcome to another lovely day of me spending money on shiny cardboard. Uh, we will continue next week. It will be at regular time, 9 p.m. We will be playing Overwatch 2, and we will be probably doing some WoW highlights just because uh, Dragonflight will be coming around, and I'll be leveling to max level. Have a good weekend, guys. It's truly JP. Have a nice weekend. Peace, guys.